Field, Stargazer, two of the world's highest quality cast iron skillets. I'm gonna compare these guys head to head and see which one I like best. When I ordered myself a Stargazer 10 and a half inch skillet uh, to do this comparison, I had never seen this pan before. I'd read lots of reviews. I was excited to see it um, and, and put it head to head against a pan that I, I love and, and cherish and use every single day. So when I first got this out of the box, I was really happy to see that it was actually quite different from the field. These pans, you know, they're, they're still made out of cast iron, of course, and uh, they're, they're similar in that sense, but there's some interesting things uh, in the Stargazer um, where Field uh, is, is a very simplistic pan. So what I mean by that is that they have a large handle helper, really, really big, which I, I really enjoy. Um, not that I actually really use that small handle helper in the field very often, um, but I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit of a cookware geek and I, I've always really liked a, a large square handle helper. I think they just are a neat look on a, on a pan. Um, for some people that are going to be cooking at the back of the stove, um, getting two hands on it is not a bad idea. Um, I cook a lot on the front of my burners, so I don't need it as much, but it, it makes a lot of sense to me, so I really enjoy that. Um, so I'm going to throw these guys right onto the scale and see which one of these ones is actually heavier. Okay, so interesting, you know, like that, that hand feel, um, I, I could feel it. So we got a pound more on the uh, Stargate. I thought it, at first it was just because of the, hand, the cantilever, but it is one full pound, which is a considerable amount. So that's gonna be really interesting in when we do some head-to-head -head cooking. What I'm gonna do in this test is that I'm going to do a simple initial cook with these, just to, to show how it cooks kind of head-to-head -head out of the box with a small amount of grapeseed oil as a fat. Let's get to that. I've had them on a six now for the time, seven, eight minutes probably now. So they're very well preheated. So I've got half a cup of onions in both here. So I'm going to just work these a little bit. So nicely preheated, things are searing a little bit on both of these guys right away. We'll let those cook up and see how they go. Okay, so those guys are well cooked, um, you know, to a point where like I wouldn't want to cook them anymore. It, really interestingly, using these two pans, the field handle is too hot to touch comfortably, like I can grab it for a sec, where the Stargazer handle is great. I can use it. Um, so, you know, I thought at first, I'm like, well, why no handle helper? Or why, how am I going to handle helper over this kind of funny shaped handle? Um, but they have a, a, a cooling of design here. So the way in which this small amount of material comes up to the handle, it stops the amount of thermal transfer up into handle. You'll see this a lot of time in stainless steel. And that works great. So that is probably, yeah, that's kind of hot to touch. but. You know, if I had a cloth, I could easily pick that up. So I really, really like that Stargazer handle. Um, at first I was kind of on the fence with it, but it's really nice. So I, I like that a lot. I do have my leather handle over my number eight on my field. So that is not a problem when I have my leather handle over top of that. So no issue there. So uh, these guys have both uh, 
cooked solidly and browned quite a bit onto the surface. So um, we'll put them through the pace of cleaning afterwards and see how they both clean up. But first we're gonna try these. Uh, so I've cooked the Stargazer. We had about a seven, eight minute preheat. We've cooked them for about seven, eight minutes. Um, they're cooked thoroughly and uh, I'm gonna try the difference between them. So. Perfectly cooked, right? Everything is juicy in the middle. There's no hard, crusty bits. Even the smaller pieces here haven't been overcooked. So, yeah, perfectly cooked in the Stargazer. Absolutely amazing. So, the field. No difference. Could be the same pan. So. In the first test, onions to onions, you know, thoroughly cooked through, good hot heat, um, you know, really brown these onions up nicely. There's lots of flavor developed, really caramelizy, brought out tons of the flavor of the onion. Um, still super juicy in the middle. It's really held on to that moisture. Everything is in great shape. Um, so I would say they're pretty much performing exactly the same. The, the, the one thing that I, from the raw pan without having the handle helper out of the package, I, I do like that Stargazer handle. Um, it's, it's quite nice, but like I said, I've used the Field tons with the handle helper and it's about, that's hot. Um, it's lighter, um, so easy to kind of move around. I find that I use the pan a lot with the handle helper, I'll actually like flip things with it with the handle helper. I could easily do that with this without the handle helper. It is a heavier pan though, so that's the downside. You got a heavier pan in the hand, I probably wouldn't do that as much. I find in the number eight in the field, I work that pan picking it up all the time. So let's get these guys to the sink and clean them up. Okay, so these guys are back onto the hob here and they are at a six, so just above medium and they're drying off or have dried off. I'm going to be taking my new fancy Cook Culture beeswax seasoning paste, um, secret formula that we have made here in BC, made of some local-ish ingredients. Um, so I am going to wipe a thin layer of my wax onto the pans. These guys smell amazing. The uh, ingredients that we have put into our own wax here is of a local beeswax and the beeswax of a really high quality, which is really awesome. So we're still just trying these out. When this video is out, this may be available to buy, but right now we're still just trying it out. Um, but the beeswax smells incredible. So. I've just done a light layer all over the pan up to the edge and I am doing the same to this guy. Nice smooth interior in the Stargazer. I'm, I'm really enjoying this Stargazer. It's so far so good. You know, of course I love my field. Um, it doesn't mean that I don't like it as much. Um, I'm just, you know, so far so good with the Stargazer. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. You know, a little bit heavier. But it's gonna be a concern for some. Hasn't been an issue to me so far. So those guys are now going to sit on the hob and cook away for a few minutes. The Stargazer is going home with me. I'm gonna use him extensively for the next few weeks. And then we're gonna be back here for our next test. So what I wanted to do is use a little bit of time just to talk about the results of using the Stargazer pan for the last two weeks. I found that the results in which I got out of the two pans were very similar. Uh, I, I, the end cooking was, was impossible to tell the difference. I love using my field. I like the weight of it. I like how easy it is to grab. I can, I can work the pan really easily. I find that I you know, flip and work it really uh, uh, easily and a lot. The Stargazer is considerably heavier, especially when it's full of food. So I may flip it a little, but I'm not working it nearly the same amount. So 
If I'm doing something that takes quite a bit of movement, higher cooking, and I'm worried about things burning and I'm really moving it, I will lean towards the field. But what I found is that pretty much everything else that I was doing, I was leaning towards the stargazer. I was finding that the evenness of the heavier weight gave me even a more consistent finish and it slowed the process down even more. So I could, you know, steam the lid on, bring the heat way down and just let things cook through nice and slowly. I find that I get a more even consistent heat at a lower temperature using the Stargazer. I was really happy about that. Uh, I've also found that the usability was tremendous. So you'll see that the edges here are really rounded. Their edges in um, the bottom edge and also the top edge. So the splay of the pan uh, is absolutely brilliantly designed. Uh, I really enjoyed using the handle helper and I found that the stay cool handle was brilliant. And I was never dealing, even open flame, I use this in open flame outside all the time, I wasn't dealing with a hot handle ever. I never needed to use a, a cloth to grab that handle. But if you're considering between something is as high quality as a field or stargazer, I don't have one particular recommendation because they are both such high quality. So it really depends on what you're looking for. And the biggest decision I think for people is gonna come down to weight. Heavy cookware to me is quality and I will usually go to as heavy as I possibly can. So that's my own personal choice. However, you know, I'm very spoiled. I get lots of great cookware. I get to use the Field and the Stargazer and they have both have a place in my kitchen. Um, so I hope that helps for you. Uh, any questions, please, Put them down below and uh, if you like this video please subscribe thanks so much